Alright. Looks like I managed to get back without being spotted. Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. I'll go get it right now. I just do my acknowledgement and hurry off to the kitchen. Let's pretend I didn't see anything for the time being. Maybe I'll stay in the kitchen until I'm able to calm down. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, no matter what she says, she looks absolutely fantastic in that dress. Honestly, she looks gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> I am so I'm surprised she doesn't want to wear more of this, honestly. Here's some water. It's good to throw yourself into these things, but you need to take a break sometime, too. <sighs> As the party comes to an end, I hand some water to Lily, who's broken off from li from live the gang. <laughs> hmm? Well, look like you look like you're having fun. Hmm. <laughs> No, I think you're fine the way you are. It's best to show Shino how much genuinely fun you have. Whatever, you're constantly trying to get me dragged into your games and karaoke. Wow! <laughs> the hard hitting questions. My sincere thanks for letting me join in. <laughs> I'm just grateful for the good things in life, that's all. <laughs> so shameless is like, so sly at the same time, it's like, I'm just grateful that I was able to participate in a game of Twister and maybe cop a feel, or two, or forty, I don't know how many, I don't know, my hands were just going everywhere, man. Hi, <laughs> hi. Well then, don't go spouting lies. That's not what we're doing, okay? <laughs> oh, she looks mad. Look at that. She looks mad. She's like, ah, uh, mm -mm, you ain't doing anything more? Back down. Back down, boy. <laughs> hmm. That doesn't sound very reassuring. Shino, あらためて今回は迷惑をかけた。すまない。もう、リリちゃん、そんなに何度も謝らなくていいんだよ。いや、でも迷惑かけた上にこんな会まで開いてもらって、その申し訳ないだろ。そんなことないよ。ちゃん
洗濯すんの大変だったんだぞユニちゃんは子分ちゃんたちを連れてお店の様子を伝えに来てくれたよねあの子たちの効率のためですシノ様に会った後はよく働きますので。<笑> That's how they do maintenance with underlings by having sheet around. She'd make a lot of alcohol and did absolutely nothing. <laughs> she, she doesn't even know what she did. Damn. Um, Miss Kanade, you did come to visit every day, but you always end up drinking till dawn with Pops and the other old folk. <laughs> That's got a problem. Please go to rehab. You're such a good for nothing. How can you say stuff like that with a straight face? Nobody wants to deal with every day with a well wisher with a well wisher who reeks with alcohol. Yeah, <laughs> She turns to look at me, but all she does is narrow her eyes. <laughs> hmm? A nod, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> they gotta do. They gotta do. Damn, Yuni is still after. Yuni is still after Gage. You know what? Yuni, keep going, girl. Keep going. This still might be a chance. Yuni no shumi te, honto wa kan ne wa. Anna no no doko ga in da ga. I don't know, but he should be lucky that Yuni is pursuing him. Shino, mo daijoubu? Hmm? Minna kara taksan genki moratta kara ne. っていうかさ、刑事が騒ぎすぎなんじゃないのか？シノがそんなやべえ病気だったなんて全然思えねえんだけど。<笑>まあやっぱりそうだよね。自分でもちょっとびっくりしてる。どういうことですか？それほどひどい病気だったの？まあ、体的にはねでもびっくりしてるのは精神的な方が大きいかな I'm glad that nobody is bringing up the fact that they already know about her sickness they pretend like they don't know anything about 一時期はもうダメだなと思ってたから Oh, damn おしのあ、ごめんなんかせっかくのバナナに空気を重くしてうん聞きたいシノがどんなことを思ってたのかそれにあるね知ってる人は話したら楽になるってだから聞きたいうん<笑>でも<笑>いいのかなケイ君。Yeah, if you're okay with it, then I don't mind either. <laughs> she would really allow a drunk to explore a spaceship. She's gonna break something. Oh, she's gonna find that exercise machine, isn't it? Exercise, by the way. Exercise. Highly quoted exercise. That thing is not an exercise machine. That's a. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna say it, but. <laughs> now that I don't have a network, thanks, Maker. Uh, I feel like I need to restrain myself a little bit more and be a little more tame about the references I toss out in case any of the videos get a montage for inappropriate content with YouTube, but. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep it tasteful. So this go. Deva Annai o Tskemasuno de. Mite, onegai shimas. Tiger? Oh, this thing, that thing actually is called a tiger. Nya, nya. Oh. His name's Tiger? Yep. 
ぱり猫関係なんじゃない。I guess. ご案内するぞ。レディー、ひよき。Actually, Tiger, I believe, is one of the. One, it's not an extremely popular name, but it's definitely a kind of common name in Russia to,、uh, to call your、uh, cat Tiger, I guess. I don't know. It, we have weird Russian names for cats and animals. <laughs> Oh, sure. See you. We wave each other goodbye, and Miss Kanada takes her leave. After watching her disappearance in the ship's interior, she turns to the rest of us and takes a deep breath. She begins in a hushed voice, the others nodding silently. And she tells a story about what happened to her, I guess. Oh! So, I was a little bit of a young girl. I was a little bit of a young girl. I was a little bit of a young girl. I was a little bit of a young girl. I was a little bit of a young girl. I was a little bit of a young girl. They told me that if I had a sibling, I could have. I could have a bone marrow transplant, but sadly, I'm an only child. Oh, we're narrating this from Sheena's point of view. I was born via a、uh, cesarean section after my mother had been recklessly、uh, receiving infertility treatment. Considering her poor health, it makes sense that I should be her first and only child. Anyway, that basically means there was nothing more they could do. Supportive care was all that was open for me. How to improve my quality of life? That was the only real question. Quality of life stands for quality of life. I already know what it stands for. It refers to how, when providing、uh, pal uh, palliative, palliative care,、uh, palliative, palliative, I don't know, whatever,、uh, doctors try to help their patients live out the remaining time without any regrets. Oops, I went on for a bit, didn't I? I'm sorry. I did a lot of research on it while I was in the hospital, so it just slipped out. Sorry. To put it simply, They told me there was something wrong with my body, that even the spe specialist consultant didn't know how to deal with it. They still tried all sorts of things to prevent the illness from progressing any further, though. At five years of treatment, my body would mature, and I would eventually be able to return to normal life. Of course, there would be restrictions on what I could do, but I'd still be able to do go to school as usual, eat normally, and play outside. And if I tried my hardest to overcome it, I might even be able to bear children. That's what they said. So that's what I decided to do for the duration of those five years. I said it was the first milestone. It was just five years, but still five whole years. That was almost half my life at that point. I'd be spending all of that time in bed. At first, it was totally fine. I just thought it would be a very long hotel stay. That's actually something Kay said when he visited me once. But then night fell, and I was all alone again. And、those hours of solitude always drive away at the fun times after my friends have visited and told me what was going on in class. It, was always, it always hit me hard when I realized I was alone. It brought me home, in fact, that it brought home the fact that I had to live with this illness forever. Even when I was playing with friends, gossiping about crushes, or just having a laugh, I thought that the only thing I'd gain from the experience would be my、uh, habit uh, habituation to the bitter medicine. That's what I assumed anyway. I was certain that my youth was going to dissolve into nothing. I was going to disappear before I knew it, in that spotless hospital ward. I just, I just whittled away at the stare,、uh, staring at the same patch of ceiling, the scent of freshly laundered bedsheets in my nostrils. I was slipping away from me, slipping right through my fingers. I cried uncontrollably whenever I thought about it. I'm realizing I, we actually had a similar scene like that from the first、uh, vision, the、like, first volume, didn't we? We did, we did. We're experiencing a little bit more about Chino's past here, through a point of view. Maybe you wonder what on earth I was actually living for. And I became afraid of the night. Because the night would keep coming around again as if nothing had happened, leaving me behind. It really is sad what happened to her, seriously. Kay must have been very worried about me, because he visited me every day. Come rain or shine, wind or snow, He would turn up every day without fail. But 
that also made it more difficult. K was going through a growth spurt, so every time I saw him, he was taller. Gradually, he started getting cocky around me. But he was worried for me the entire time. Afraid of bringing in germs, he would spray disinfectant all over himself, and the entire room would reek of it. After K left, the scent of it in the air made it feel like he was still there. It made me happy, but also more lonely. Of course, I would never let him see the weakness of mine. I was supposed to be his dependable big sis. I was also careful not to say too much to my family. He kept reminding me to tell him that after 5 years of trying really hard, I would do a full recovery. Because I was Kay's big sister. That was the only aspect of my day-to-day -day life that brought me into this hospital ward. One stormy summer's night. The windows were rattling and I could hear the rustling and creaking of the trees outside. I was terrified of the light, which occasionally lit up the room. The oh, lightning, not light, sorry. Light is scary, I guess. No, I'm sorry, I'm just out of one over the moment. When things are cast suddenly in light, this makes you all the more aware of the darkness all around. I trembled in fear at every thunderbolt. The storm was also the reason why Kay hadn't been visiting recently. Or at least, that's what I wanted to believe. I thought about what he had said about the new friends he made. It made me feel nervous, no the more lonely. Kay is bored because I can't get out of bed. It's going to leave me behind. That's the conclusion I arrived at. I'd hit my limit. Would I really be made to suffer through this through this for five whole years? Would I have to live all alone, terrified of the dark corners of my room? The bitter taste of medicine, the only sensation available to me? Shino, it's me. Did he? Oh my god. If he did, he's officially a... <laughs> he's officially the uh, the greatest friend ever. Uh, Shino, marry him. <laughs> but I want to give you this somehow. He handed me something that looked like a globe, but with all the holes in it. There was no map on its surface, it was just a black sphere, covered in little holes. Wait, I'll get this set up right away. Still drenched from the rain, Kay hastily started getting ready. You'll not be bored at night anymore with this, Shino. <sighs> now, let me turn it on. <laughs> at that moment, Kay was discovered by a nurse on patrol and got a severe scolding. He was dragged away and his project left unfinished. Left behind in a bit of a daze, I reached for the switch that Kay had been about to press. And with a flick of my finger... <gasps> it was as if stars were raining down from the ceiling. Perfectly white stars, twinkling against the dark walls of the hospital ward. Wow. Keiji is the man. Holy crap. That is actually... Wow, that is actually really admirable. Wow. Keiji is the man. Oh, Jesus. Nesuke's homemade planetarium was a single book. The title was Summer Constellations. And stuck between the pages was a single sheet of paper. It contained the following note. There's one constellation which isn't listed in this book. If you find it, please give, me an, please give it a name. At the end of the note was a blank box, which I was supposed to write the name. Must have been too embarrassed to say so, but this was his way of giving me a surprise gift. 
ケイくんありがとう絶対絶対見つけるからねおまけ I'm getting feels I'm getting Oh, legitimate feels right now. Give me a second, water. Why? What's. Why, Corona Blossom? Why are you wrapping up the feels? Oh my god. Oh. Why is it doing that? Why? Why is it doing that? Oh my god. Oof, it just wrapping up the feels more and more. From then onwards, I was no longer scared of the nighttime. I was too busy looking for constellations to even think about being scared. その数ヶ月後私は病気を克服して無事に退院して今はご覧の通り元気でやらせてもらっていますとちゃんちゃんなんちゃって Oh whatever <laughs> Yeah whatever it's not like the guy would freaking <laughs> All the way Oh my god holy shit Wow I don't know, something wasn't dealing about that. Holy hell. Ooh. Nobody reacts to that line of Shino as she gets to the end of the story. Our silence seems to make her nervous. She gives me a pledging look as a desperate for my help. Uh, well, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> well, don't ask for the impossible. We we're again reduced to communicating via eye contact. Until a certain freeloading alien breaks the awkward silence. Shino placed her hand over her chest. もう焼き付いちゃってるの。だからシノは星座に詳しいの。だね。いっぱい勉強したからね。ケイ君より詳しいよ。今度アルネにも教えて。うん、いいよ。で、そのオリジナル星座は見つけたんですよね。名前は？
私はしてあげられなかったからそれで代わりに遊んでいてくれたというララ様に感謝しているのですねうんありがたいなってちょっと寂しかったのもあるけどねシノおいちょっと待ってシノが入院していた時期っていつぐらいだ Um, let's see. At her request, I'll bring up the calendar app on my smartphone and display the year it occurred. It was around this time. Oi, Yuni! Kodia! Eh, Lara Sama ga ye de ste, kono hoshi ni ita jiki to itchi shimasu ne. Did he just get a clue for Lala's、uh, whereabouts? You're right. I see, I barely remember anything of that year. Shino Sama wa. ララ様のことを覚えているんですかんえっとさっきも話したけど入院中にケイ君から新しい友達ができたと聞いててその人が変わった子だっていうのは話で聞いてたかなでも直接会ったことはなかったし私が完治してからはケイ君もその子のこと話さなかったから。Really? All I remember is that I received this watch when she left. Nah, Yuni! Koitsa moshkaste! Eh, Watashimo ima, sono kano se ni tsuite kongaite imasta. Is there something bigger happening here that we're not aware of? Ketron kara yeba, harie masne. Huh? The what? Oda, oda, do sta no kasira. Nanda ka moria gatte de mitai da kedo. And the drunk girl's back. <laughs> Oh, Miss Kanade, welcome back. Seems like Lily Uni have figured something out. What do you mean? Huh? Lala? Whoa, you can't. No, you can't be ending like that. You can't be ending that like that. So Lala cured Shino's illness. Go gather an original spaceship to determine the truth of the matter. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and actually end right here. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I want to continue further, but I need to take a little break here. Oh my god. Whew. Wow, that's actually gotten some gotten real. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and actually take a little break here, Lynn Gents. Uh thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh next episode we're gonna continue this and we're gonna see how far this goes here to see if maybe Lala had something to do with Shino's you know, Shino's illness being cured. That'd be interesting if that was a if that was the case. Nevertheless, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show over here. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. My name is Samuel, like subscribe and as always every day, and see you on the next episode of whatever I make. See ya!